Here's my lifted budget overland build. This is where we're headed. We're gonna go down here into there. Oh, this van's so big. Should I go straight up? You know what? You wanna see? Let's see how good this suspension really is. Let's climb this. I got the power. All right, let's climb it. Oh, easy work, man. That was impressive, actually. Oh, man, that was good. That off-roading trip was last weekend. I wanted to get out to the desert before it hit 100 degrees regularly. It was 85 last weekend. This weekend, it's 100. Next weekend, it's 100. So desert season's over. So I got this all cleaned up. Won't be off-roading for another couple months. So today's topic, lifting your two-wheel drive van. If you're thinking about lifting your van, you probably know about Sportsmobile, Sportsmobile. The thing is, my van is two-wheel drive. Sportsmobiles are four by fours. And the terrain I did last weekend was more challenging than what's on their website. So where I went last weekend was the perfect match, perfect difficulty for a lifted two-wheel drive van. Here's a 2006 for sale, $74,000. Let's take a quick look at it. Looks good though. If you're a regular on my channel, you know what we call this hobby, budget sports mobiling. This van isn't $75,000, not even $50,000. $25,000, no, $13,000. So if you're a van fanatic, you're gonna know the difference between this and a real sports mobile. But the average person, they're gonna look at this van, they're gonna look at a sports mobile and think it's the same thing. It's a lifted van. Chula Vista Tours vans. Needs lift kits. The most common topic when people stop by in my comment section is lift kits for two wheel drive Econolines. So much so that I'm doing my fourth van meet in October 2023. So join us if you have a lifted van or you're thinking about lifting your van. This is my second van build. It's lifted on a five inch Weltec lift. My last van build was lifted on a five inch action van lift. So that's the question I get often. Action van versus Weltec. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts right now. This is the lift kit I have for my van. I got my lift installed in 2021. Prices have gone up. When I got my lift installed, it was 4,500 with install out the door. Now it's 4,684 without the taxes. With taxes, that's gonna come out to around five grand. Weltec charges 1490 for install. My first van build was lifted 10 years ago. I went with Action Van, and at the time, their base kit was 1900. It went up a little to 2089. The ultimate kit is 2895. I don't remember what the ultimate kit used to go for, but about a $200 increase in the base kit. I got mine installed out the door for 2800. I believe it's about 3200 now out the door, so almost 2,000 less than Weltec install versus install. If you're gonna install this yourself, no welding required. Here's what I like most about the Weltec lift. It's a bigger radius arm. So see the three bolt holes up there? That's where the original radius arms were mounted. This one's a lot longer than the original radius arm. But I don't like how it's just a bushing. The action van has an option of a pivot point I'll show you that in a second. Action Van 
Action Van says do not bend. Welltech says drop down brackets aren't good. They're both fine. So I just want to point that out. I think it's funny. You got to sell your kit, right? So there's the original I-beam pivot point right there. Right there. So Action Van uses a drop down bracket. Welltech bends the I-beam. What I do like about the Welltech also is coming down the middle. There's a little more clearance. Action van goes straight across like factory. So another thing, the Welltech, they removed the sway bar right there. Those used to be the sway bar mounting points. Action van retains the sway bars. See right there, that's where the sway bar mounting used to be. Fox shocks are standard on the Welltech. Bilsteins are standard on the Action Van. Welltech allows you to upgrade to the King shocks. That's another $200. Action Van lets you upgrade to the Foxes. Not sure if they let you upgrade to the Kings, but if you want to upgrade to the Foxes on um, the Action Van, I believe they charge an extra $300. The rear uses a simple lift block. Welltech sells a leaf pack so you could get the rear lifted with the leaf pack but that's another two grand added to the five thousand dollars already for the uh, lift kit so gets expensive if you add the rear leaf springs here's a look at the action van suspension base kit their website hasn't changed in 10 years they they don't have a youtube presence like welltech so i believe these were um rancho shocks 10 years ago now bilsteins are standard but here's the radius arm they just take the ford radius arm so there's a just a bushing right here just like the welltech the ultimate kit is 2800 dollars, and for the extra price you get their custom radius arms Looks like the Welltech, but it's not extended, and steering stabilizer is included. Here's a look at their custom radius arms. There it is right there, the little pivot. So, in 2010, it looks like Ford improved the radius arms, so for $300, you could get the 2010 style radius arm and when you look at the 2010 style, there's a pivot right there. So I do like that. So if I were to go to if I were to go with Action Van, if that's who you're thinking about um, going with, I would upgrade to this just for a little more articulation. I do like that they offer this. The other choice was Camberg. Just a quick mention of Camberg. They no longer sell their bent beam style kit, their Welltech style. They still sell an action van drop down bracket style kit, but it's overpriced like 3500 starting. So I don't think it's a good deal anymore because of, you know, how much it's gone up in price. But they have a custom radius arm also with the pivot. My friend Holdfast, he has a Camberg bent style beam like the Welltech. And what I like about the Camberg is there was a limiting straps on the springs, but yeah, Camberg no longer sells their uh, bent beam style. They just sell an action van style of lift. And yeah, you might as well go with action van. You might as well go with Welltech, actually. I mean, this is more expensive than the Welltech bent beam kit. All right, here's my 40 Econoline lifted. I dropped it off on Monday and picked it up Tuesday. I left it overnight at Full Tilt Off-Road. They also own action van suspension and they're the guys who designed the kit for this vehicle so I figure they should install it they've worked with it before so they know what they're doing now for the five thousand dollar question which lift kit do I recommend it's all on your financial situation maybe you can't budget a fifteen thousand dollar four-wheel drive conversion but a five thousand dollar Welltech lift kit is no problem you could come up with five grand easy or maybe even seven if you don't want a rear lift block and you want the rear lifted 
with some nice leaf springs and seven grand is no big deal. Go with the Weltec. It's all subjective. I think the Weltec kit looks cooler. Some people think the Action Van kit looks cooler. But like I said, I don't like how the sway bar is removed, but I'm sure that's for more articulation. I like the longer radius arm, but like I said, I don't like the fact that there's no uh, pivot. It's just a bushing. That being said, since no one pays me and I'm not sponsored by anyone, I could tell the truth. I wish I went with the action van. Like I said, no regrets on this kit. It looks good. It performs great, great articulation. You saw it in my um, initial off-roading clip. This kit performs really well. But for the terrain I do, and the terrain most of you are gonna do, action van kit is fine. Most of us want to lift just to look cool in a parking lot. But at the same time, you got some off-road capability. Why would I go with action van over Welltech? I'm a blue collar guy, man. That extra $1,600 back in 2021, yeah, I had to wait a while. I had to work more overtime. I had to work a lot more to afford that extra $1,600. Like I said, we're all in different financial situations. Had I went with Action Van, I would have had a re-gear and rear locker by now. That's the last uh, task for this van. Get a re-gear and rear locker. It's got the V10. So it got affected by the bigger tires a little, mainly on hills, of course on hills. It'll shift from fourth to third more often now. Feel like I lost 30 horsepower. It's still, it's still got power to it. Still a lot of fun off-roading. It's got the power, but I wanna regain that power. So yeah, if I were to do it again, action van, save 1600. This van build would have been complete by now. This van build, I'm at about 13,000 with the re-gear and rear locker. This van build will be about 15, 16 grand. Had I gone with the action van, total cost for this build, everything, lift kit, rear locker, re-gear, I would be at about 14. So a good 1,600 less for my build being completed. You know, of course you run into things too. I needed a new alternator. I replaced all my brakes rotors so when you're working on vans like this older vans this is a 99 you're gonna run into maintenance so yeah no regrets with the Welltech at all but if I were to do it over again I would have went with action van the type of off-roading I do and what most of you are gonna do like I said man I, I did more off-roading difficulty than a uh, sports mobile did in their website so and that has four-wheel drive that's a uh, that's a lot of four-wheel drive for the easy terrain sports mobile showing on their website so here's my advice like I said financial situation if you could shell out the extra two grand for Welltech and you just like how the you know the kit looks more go for it my recommendation call both companies you might like the other guy more than the other you might like the guy running action van more you might like the guy running Welltech more. The Action Van guy has no YouTube presence. The Welltech guy, you know, he's a very cheery, rah-rah type. Maybe you like rah-rah types. Or maybe you just like quiet old timers, like the guy at Action Van. His website is uh, 10 years old, and it shows. It's the exact same website from 10 years ago when I lifted my first van. So that's my advice for lift kits. What's your budget? Call both Call both companies, see who you connect with more, see who you want to give your hard-earned money to. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And when you stop by in my comments section, there's a couple of us with two-wheel drive lifted vans. I'm sure my subscribers will see your comments asking about these lift kits, whether it's Camberg, Action Van, or Welltech. And they'll also they'll also chime in. That's the that's my favorite part about my YouTube channel is uh, the comment section and people with real world experiences. But the best thing about these two wheel drive lifted vans is you could do a lot of things that the sports mobile vans do, that the Quigleys do. You look as cool for a big time fraction of the price. So whatever lift kit you choose for your van, you're gonna really like your van. Let me know in the comments. If you got a lifted two-wheel drive van, 
let me know how much you like it this is my favorite vehicle that i owned if i was told i could only keep one vehicle this would be it right here even if i got a hundred thousand subscribers and i could upgrade to a sprinter or a nicer van i'm sticking to this here's some lifted van hype for my subscribers wanting to lift their vans same height right i'm on 33s this big truck is on 37s and check this out same height as the f-350 dually with 37s and all i have is 35s or not even 35s 30 33s 285s that's all i have so there you go the five inch lift and 33s you're as big as the super duty here this van is long i felt like it wasn't long enough so I added a storage box to it. One thing I forgot to mention, you might want to go with Welltech if you intend on doing jumps in the desert. I don't think most of us are going to do jumps in the desert, but if you are going to do jumps in the desert, Welltech does have more articulation than the action van. Like I said though, I wish it was a pivot on the radius arm. You want to know how blue collar I am? See the date on that gift card and how rough my hands are? I was sad because I thought I lost this gift card. Sister gave it to me. What is it? May now? But I'm happy. I get to go to Taco Bell now. Blue collar life. So yeah, like I said, if a $2,000 difference in lift kits is going to determine if you get a lift kit for your van, go action van.